And here was my, my favorite moment to dawn earlier. And held on to untouchable cultural prestige. And what I wanted to begin by asking you, you've worked with some of the greatest music acts in history. Why do you think the Beatles have this civic occupy a single place in our lives? To me, it's done with songs. They're, they're just the best songwriters. They, uh, it's, I can't even, I can't analyze it for you. I think you could go back after. I, I know that they're not cognizant of what moves they're writing in and what scales they're in. I'll tell you this. We, uh, I was a music director for this CBS tribute to the Beatles that was on uh, right after the Grammys. And we were at the rehearsal. There was a big room, but maybe there were 70 people. Well, this left me on acid or something. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's like being on acid when you are. I hope you can fight. Just like it. So, uh, so the, Paul's up there rehearsing the set, and then Ringo joins us to play drums. And they, they're going to hate you. And everyone's working on it. Electricians are connecting stuff. And everyone's doing something. First, first two notes of the thing. Everybody stops. Room gets quiet. Fifteen seconds in. People like wrong. People are sobbing. And I'm not exaggerating. It's not, not hyperbolic. I was really overcome by it. Now, what kind of song triggers that? You know what? What? What were the, they tuned into? When we talk backstage, you said that it was even goes back to the 50s and what was going on in the country in the 50s. It wasn't just that some people think of Kennedy's assassination and the people needing this release or what have you. You said that things that were going on in this country in the 50s said that the Beatles ascended. Oh, I think it was set up for, for decades. We had this post-war prosperity where where um, young people were suddenly going to college and had time on their hands to think about it. philosophical issues. You had the, the predominance of TV, global TV, you know, satellite TV for the first time, connecting the world. And, and we're aware of what's going on, but we see the results of war, and uh, suddenly there's a kind of distrust of authority and, and an educated youth group, the baby boomers is the largest demographic group at the time, and it, it was planned for a youth revolt against the conservative kind of complacency of the 50s. It's very emotional. I mean, in the end, the job of the artist is to put the audience in touch with their own feelings, right? Make them feel something. Yeah. And they were masters of it. They still are. You, you still listen to that music and feel something, not just not just nostalgia, it doesn't just bring back the 60s. It touches you deep inside. 